This video is in partnership with The Daily Upside. Today, we're gonna to talk about corporate banking. I get a lot of questions about corporate banking, got a lot of questions about commercial banking, just because I used to be in investment banking. Typically, I've defaulted to the answer of, I have no idea, because I genuinely have no idea. I heard it described as investment banking light, kind of like DS Lite or Nintendo Switch Lite. So today, after much delay, after much I don't knows, here's a quick five minute guide of what I learned corporate banking is through a career slash ex investment banker lens, genuinely because I was so curious and I've been overwhelmed by all this, what about corporate banking questions. So here we go. Corporate banking is largely centered around the idea of loans and lending out money. It falls under the general investment banking umbrella. I think people tend to have a very convoluted view of what investment banking is. Investment banking is just any way to raise money, get money into the pockets of rich people. Just kidding. Into the pockets of companies and organizations as a whole. Commercial banking is the same thing as corporate banking, except it's for smaller businesses and individuals. Corporate banking is all about loans. It's about loan creation, loan generation, getting loans on behalf of corporations. So if a company needs money, the corporate bank, the corporate bankers take care of this. A lot of times corporate banks are known as the loss leader or the ones that are okay with handling loss. What they mean by this is not literally they're okay with no profit or handing out money, but they're not always looking for the best bet or the best possible profit margin they can get out of this because they're often seen as the relationship creator for the investment bank. So they work closely with the M&A department and the capital markets department of the investment bank and they serve as like this entry point for X corporation, ABC corporation to start that relationship with the investment bank at large. It's kind of like the wingman of the friend group that needs to take the losses, take the L sometimes and might not be able to infiltrate that other group of girls and you might have to, and I feel like as I go further into this analogy, I might get into trouble by saying all this stuff. So essentially, it's just the person that is okay with taking the least amount of Ws so that the rest of the group gets the most amount of Ws. Largely, there are two types of loans that corporate banks deal with and I think just in general what banks deal with in a loan perspective. There's revolvers and there's term loans. Doesn't have to be that deep. Revolvers, like basically a credit card, there's a limitation of how much you could spend and then the company that's borrowing takes incremental amounts whenever they feel like it. Term loan, they take a big sum in the front and then pay it back in increments with interest. Credit card versus your parents giving you a bazillion dollars pay it back later. What do you actually do as a corporate banker? I think it's very similar to M&A investment banking analyst work that I did. You look at the market, you do comps, you do financial analysis, you pitch to companies, you maintain the relationship. The only difference that I think is here is on a pitch perspective, what I've seen is m and is much about new idea generation. While you do maintain relationships, it's not like companies are constantly selling themselves out to private equity and strategic buyers, whereas companies for corporate banking, there is always loans to be made, revolving lines of credit, to be drawn from. So it's a consistent process and a lack of idea generation and a pitching of, you should sell this. There's not much to pitch on a loan perspective as compared to an M&A perspective. Corporate bankers, if you are thinking you're so wrong, please comment below. So the banking analyst, the corporate person, low bottom of the tier person's job is probably running those comps, looking into the loan market, where are loans currently being sold slash traded at, and then looking at the market industry, industry market as a whole, and just thinking, how do we best serve our clients on a loan perspective? Speaking of market research, check out The Daily Upside and sign up for their newsletter, which quite literally tells you The Daily Upside and downside of the financial world at large and related news stories in a very quick and easy to understand format via email. I read it because it's crisp, insightful, and does a really good job of finding that elusive balance between gravitas and wit, just like yours truly. It's a great way for anyone interested in the finance world at large, anyone currently in or in pursuit of the finance slash investing career to just jump right in and understand the essence of finance and related news stories. It's a relatively new company, but already has 125,000 subscribers, much more than me, probably for a good reason. Sign up using my link below in the description box to get your daily upside insights starting right away. That brings out the great question of pay. What do you get paid as a corporate banking analyst? I've actually heard it's pretty similar to investment banking analysts. I know that investment banking has recently had a spike. I recently talked about that in a live stream and their base salaries are now starting at 100, 110, and 125 for first second and third year analysts. I don't think corporate banking has had a similar update. If they did, please correct me again in the comments below, but I think they do start around the 85, 90K base range and then get a 20 to 50% bonus at the end of the year. Obviously that is part 
partnered with a slightly better workout balance with the busiest weeks getting to 70 hours and I think a typical week maybe 50 to 60 hours a week so it's better than banking in terms of work-life balance slightly less and maybe a lot less on a money perspective as a whole but what is more important to you is probably the question at hand for typical companies that seem cool and good and you can brag about it's the companies you actually heard of like Wells Fargo, Bamble, JP Morgan, those sorts that have a lot of money to lend out and partner with loan sources. I've made brief comparisons to investment banking throughout the video prior but essentially it's the light version. You do kind of similar work. You're in finance. You have the banking title. You work under investment bank but you work slightly less hours. You make slightly somewhat a lot less and maybe it's less sexier. Maybe it's less prestigious but you're still a banker. On a similar standpoint I think your career trajectory is basically the same. You start as analyst then you become associate, VP, director and then managing director. You're maintaining relationships at the end of the trajectory and then you're doing grunt work, analyst work at the analyst level on a exit op slash what do I do post corporate banking standpoint I've seen a lot of corporate bankers ironically become investment bankers I think it's one of those things where if you're kind of middle of the ground and you're doing 70% of the work hours 70% of the pay you might as well do the 100% of the work hours and then get 200% of the pay not that I think investment bankers are making 200% of what corporate bankers are getting paid I guess it depends on the role in the firm but I do understand the mentality of if you're going to do it you might as well do the full thing instead of doing the three quarter ass not the half-ass thing. So I've seen a lot of corporate bankers become investment bankers. Some drop to capital markets. I think others can try their way into private equity and other buy side roles because you are dealing with finance, but because it's loan heavier and you're not necessarily making acquisition deals, you might be helping acquisition deals, but not directly involved in acquisition deals. It might be farther from the private equity realm. Overall, I've seen a lot of corporate bankers fall and slash lateral into investment banking M&A roles. I've heard that compared to investment banking, corporate banking is quite limited and you become a bit more pigeonholed if you're a corporate banker again please correct me in the comments below if you've jumped to something cooler and i am undermining your experience essentially i think if you enjoy being the gateway person into the investment banking world of a client relationship management standpoint if you want to become an md in the loan world if you want to work slightly less than banking but make just as good enough so that you can go home during christmas and brag to your extended family i think corporate banking is not a bad idea but Long story short, once in the summer of the day, if you're going to go for it full throttle and you have the chance to, why not just go for banking? I said banking broadly and unclear on purpose. Thanks for watching. I know that I am definitely no expert in this field. I've been asked this question a lot, so I kind of wanted to get it out of the way. Hopefully I did a good job explaining what they do. I don't know if I did, and I will see you guys next time. Let's go.